So there's something important I need to tell you about how ASP.NET URL authorization works. I think a lot of people use this feature without realizing um, this little issue that I'm going to show you. And let's talk about this in, in the context of IS6, because I think most people, that's what most people are using, at least as I record this. And this is where the problem is most prominent. Um, so if you take a look at the way a request is processed, let's say we have a, a managed page, like our default.aspx page that, that um, came in, goes into IIS 6. IIS 6 will look at its script map and say, oh, that has an ASPX extension. It's an ASP.NET request. I'm going to pass that over to ASP.NET. At this point, ASP.NET's pipeline kicks in, and the module that consults the authorization section uh, gets a chance to allow or deny the request. But imagine for a moment that you're asking for static content. Let's say the request is for a GIF file or a PDF file or a zip file or something that's not considered managed. Um, IS looks at its script map, doesn't see anything special. Oh, it's just static content. I'll just go ahead and serve it up directly. Right? No authorization section check. In other words, if you only want the administrator to be able to access the app, like I showed you in the last demo, um, the administrator is going to, or you know, any user is going to be able to access your images and anything that's not um, a, a managed resource. So um, you can deal with this in a couple of ways on IS6, and let me show you an example of that. All right, so to demonstrate this static uh, authorization issue, um, I've switched back over to D Windows 2003, so we're using IS6. I've got a web.config file here that simply denies all users access, so that cancels out the one in the root. Um, so even administrators shouldn't be able to have access to anything. So let's go ahead and verify that. Actually, bring up IIS here and browse to the default page. In simple web, this is the same web application, and yeah, like we expect, we're denied access. Now, watch what happens if I drop a .gif file in the directory. I'm denied access to default.aspx, but that's a managed resource. If I go to merlin.gif, ah, I can see it just fine. And the reason for that is because the request is coming into IIS and getting served up immediately. It's not going through to ASP.NET. Now we can force it to go through to ASP.NET. If I go into my config here, <clears throat> my script mapping configuration, actually let me show you where that was. On the main property page here, you can go to Configuration, and that takes you to your script map. Now you'll look, there is a setting in here for ASPX. The extension .aspx is mapped onto um, ASP.NET. Right? That's the ASP.NET ISAPI handler. So if we go ahead and close that dude down, um, we can scroll down a little bit and look for a .gif extension. There isn't one. Right? There's a distinct lack of a .gif extension. And if there's no extension, ASP.NET is, I'm sorry, IS6 just assumes it's static content and serves it up. Um, so let's go ahead and add an entry for .gif and we'll map it onto, we'll map it the same way .aspx extensions are mapped onto um, ASP.NET. Okay, so let's go ahead and add that setting. And now, when I try to go get Merlin, if I refresh this page, okay, get access is denied, just like I would expect. Now that's not going to have any impact on anything that's not a .gif file, right? So if I go and drop this hello.txt file in there, you know, I still have the issue with getting to that. All right, there you go. So I could keep on doing this ad nauseum, adding these elements, or I could add a wildcard map. And if, if none of these specific maps match, then IS6 checks its wildcards. <coughs> So let me go ahead and insert a wildcard mapping that points to ASP.NET. So we're just going to go ahead and send all requests through for static content through ASP.NET. And now when I refresh this page, I should, well, if I refresh it so it doesn't go into the cache, um, I'm denied access to the text file as well. Now, there's a perf hit when you do this because it's, it, it's more efficient to have IIS serve up um, static content directly as opposed to sending it through managed code, you know, you have to load, drop into the CLR. That, that, that costs a little bit, right? There's a certain perf hit there. Um, so IS7 has some, uh, another option that allows us to do this more efficiently. But this is an option. You just have to realize, if you don't do this, the only thing, 
that the authorization section is going to control access to are managed resources like your SPX pages. It's not going to control access to anything else. So if you have PDF files, zip files, users, if they know the URL, they'll be able to download them. Okay, so don't be surprised by that.